as the coronavirus strengthens its grip on the world, harrowing accounts are being shared by young people from across the globe on how they are battling the pandemic. 18-year-old Angel Gona studies law at the University of Johannesburg in South Africa. With her university closed and no Wi-Fi access to tap into online classes, she worries about falling behind on her studies. Other kids like me, we live in a, in a low-income area of which we have to use our data to go on or to do our online tasks and our online assignments, of which I don't have Wi-Fi at home, so that has impacted my life negatively because now we have to catch up in our academics, we're missing out in a lot of things in terms of... Zoe, a 16-year-old high school student in Malaysia, is sad that she might not see one of her best friends who is moving to another country. She is looking for a miracle, but isn't expecting one. And one of my friends is moving this year, one of my best friends, and then I'm never going to see her again, so that sucks a lot. 23-year-old Kali is a high-risk patient because she has lupus and even before coronavirus was a threat, she got sick often. She had plans to marry her fiancé in the fall, but worries, those plans might have to be shelved for now. Um, I'm pretty blessed. I am in healthcare, but I've been able to figure out a way to work from home for the time being, um, just to keep you know my health and my family and everyone less at risk than it would be for all of us to be leaving the house. Mm -hmm. So, Freddie, a 16-year-old high school sophomore, is waiting the lockdown out with his family in Chicago. He says his city, which is usually noisy, has been quieter than usual. Freddie feels he's living in a box. I haven't really had any real human interaction outside of my family in the last couple of days. And that's kind of new to me. It's kind of difficult to go from being at school every day, going to the gym every day. 16-year-old Michaela from Palo Alto, California is a self-described introvert. She says spending a lot of time indoors had always been her dream. Now, she's not so sure. I'm naturally more introverted, so, you know, like staying in my room for long periods of time used to be the dream for me. And I used to want that, but now that I have it, it's less than ideal because, you know, I realize that it's actually very, um, I don't know, like, trapping. Sarah is a 21-year-old dentistry student in Baghdad. She worries about the impact this virus will have on countries with fewer resources. She says Iraq, while rich with oil, has limited medical resources for the common man. And here the people are struggling, they're for helping each other. Some of the wealthiest people are trying to donate and give money, but it's still not enough. It's still not enough to feed all the poor people, the people whose job has stopped. The link is broken now. 